Hello. Welcome to the channel. Today is September 4th. In this episode, we are going to talk things related to EHANG and CAAC certification. A while ago in an episode, we talked about 2021 China Electric Aviation Forum. On July 17th, the 2021 China Electric Aviation Forum was held in Changsha, with industry experts, corporate executives, government and park representatives, and related practitioners from home and abroad. In that episode, we mainly talked about presentations from electric aircraft makers. Actually, in the conference, there was a presentation related to CAAC certification of electric aircraft by Hao Jipeng. Next, some background for the presenter, Hao Jipeng. He is a senior engineer of UAV certification at the Institute of Aircraft Airworthiness, China Academy of Civil Aviation Science and Technology. He is mainly engaged in the airworthiness certification of UAVs. He gave a conference report entitled Some Thoughts on the Certification of Electric Powered Aircraft. In the report, Mr. Hao Jipeng exchanged and shared the following topics. Objects of the Certification of Electric Powered Aircraft The Certification Issues of Electric Power Devices The Certification Issues of EVTOL and The Practice of UAV System Certification there are a few slides available for the presentation from the social media. We may get some feel from the available content about things related to the certification. Not all topics are available for covering here. First, let's see a presentation slide. Here, the title of the slide is Certification Practice of Unmanned Aircraft System. The slide lists 10 UAVs under certification or with completed certification. It is interesting to notice that Ehang EH216S is listed here. EH216S is the only passenger EVTOL aircraft in the list. It is learned that the first two aircraft in the list have been granted the certificates. The certification statuses for the others are unknown. Next, let's see what objects or examination areas are involved in certification of electric-powered aircraft. Here is a related slide. The title of the slide is Objects for Certification of Electric-Powered Aircraft. There are three objects or examination areas. 1. Loose coupling of electric power system and flight control system. Human-piloted aircraft with some computer assistance or drones remotely controlled by human may belong to this area. 2. Tight coupling of flight control system and electric power system. Ehang EH-216 falls into this area. As you can see here, the presenter uses EH216 as an example. 3. Remote control slash automatic slash autonomous particularities of coupled system. Next, let's see some flight profiles for electric powered aircraft. First, for fixed wing aircraft. Here is an illustration for the typical flight profile of short and medium range fixed wing aircraft. Please note, this figure is for illustration. The horizontal scale is not in proportion to the actual scale. The horizontal cruise range is much longer than shown here. As you can see here, the stages in the flight profile are as follows. Take off from airport. First stage climbing. First stage cruising. Second stage climbing. Second stage cruising. Descending. Landing. Next, let's see the typical flight profile of EVTOL aircraft. The stages in the flight profile are as follows. Vertical takeoff. Transitional flight stage. Climbing stage. Cruising stage. Descending stage. Transitional flight stage. Landing. As you know, power system is important for aircraft. In the case of electric plane, battery is the power. Another topic in the presentation is The differences in the lithium battery power requirements by flight profiles 1. The flying height of electric aircraft will change significantly in a single mission The atmospheric temperature and pressure will also change significantly, that is, on board power, lithium-ion batteries need to work under a wide range of temperature and pressure conditions 2. Thermal runaway mechanism is discussed Instantaneous type and cumulative type are corresponding to, respectively, power type task flight section and energy type task flight section. 3. 
Compared with electric vehicles, the normal and lateral overload of the body of an electric aircraft is larger when climbing and changing the flight state. When the aircraft is operating in the air, it may encounter unfavorable weather conditions such as real wind, gusts, cold currents, and wind shear. These unfavorable conditions will also cause large and high frequency changes in the body overload in a short period of time. 4. Electric aircraft need to maintain a flight state and find an emergency landing site when the power system drops significantly, so the safety requirements for the aircraft power battery are higher. This is the information we may get and absorb from the few available slides. The main difference between electric aircraft and petrol aircraft is in the type of power. That is, the battery or battery system plays the critical role for an electric aircraft. The presenter only discussed the battery system for electric aircraft in general. Here, we should emphasize the uniqueness and the advantages of EH216 power system. Unlike the conventional centralized power system, EH216 adopts a distributed power system. Here is an example of the conventional centralized battery pack, which power all motors of an electric aircraft. Here is the photo of EH216 distributed power system. There are 16 independent battery and control units. If one or more units fail, the aircraft can still fly. Furthermore, each separate small battery unit is simpler and generates less heat, and is superior in terms of thermal and load balance as well as safety management. EH216 has been tested with more than 10,000 test flights under extreme conditions such as typhoons super strong winds at high altitudes in mountain areas, in severe cold climates, and hot firefighting environments. As you can see, the theory and practical tests has all showed the excellence of EH216S distributed power system. Thanks for watching. This channel gives you update and info on Chinese stocks, technologies and culture. Please subscribe.